Hey guys, name's Fen, playing a new mission today. Thief 2, The Flying Age. The abominable flying machines of Dr. Zepplinger. Before I do anything, let's watch the intro. Meet me at Carson's restaurant. Signed, Cassandra. <laughs> Didn't you like the food? You've been poisoned. Poisoned? Now you must follow our orders. Do something for us within 36 hours, or you will die. We have the antidote, and we'll give it to you if you return in time. Damn, I'm in trouble. Yes. Bit of Diver Down style... Uh... Uh... Concept art whatever thing art sort of thing there now anyways I really love this set of missions I guess like there is some split opinion I think maybe some people think it's kind of too far out there or that it's like a weird concept or something maybe but I, I don't know I personally think that it's really unique and creative and that it works really well and that it's super fun so Without, without further that, and there's a big description. I'll put the, dis the sort of story in the description of the video as usual. So if you want to read that, just, uh, just scroll right down and read it. Stop the video right now and just go read so you can know what's going on. But uh, I'm just going to play. Thief, fly, high, strange sort of semi-non-English writing sort of thing. So anyway, this first is the airship hangar, which if you've read the description, you will know what's going on. Basically, but I mean, I guess I'll just do a quick summary. The Dr. Ferdinand von Zepplinger is like making some airships and he's created some kind of propelizer machine and you have to go and break it or something. I can't even f remember. I didn't, I didn't read the thing. What do you think I am, crazy? Anyway, find a way to sneak inside the flying balloon machine that is stored in the hangar, locate a secure hiding place and wait until the machine flies. I guess we have to stow away on it. You're gonna know more than me, because I'm just like, I know how to play this mission. I don't really need to be reading. Okay, so I've got the sword right off the bat for some reason. Let's see. Oh, 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 damn. What have I got for weapons? I have a sword, blackjack, and that's it. And I've got my compass and my picks, and that's it. Now, I seem to recall, even though it looks like you can't, I think you can just walk right past. You did see something, friend. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this place looks big, but in fact... Oh. A little hole in the ground. The light in the window is a hole in the ground. So, yeah, it, it is pretty linear, this first intro sort of mission here. And, uh, really, all we got to do is, uh, get inside here and, and everything will be all good and stuff, so. Well, there's nothing in there, but it's a nice sort of, like, Z kind of box. Yes, Z, not Z. I don't care what you say. Uh, well, anyway, there seems to be some sort of secret I, I happen to sort of remember here. Happen to... Ah, oh, yes, the doors are different in Thief 2. Yes, they are. Yes, indeed. Oh, there's a switch. Now, that opens this, but I suppose, like, I'm gonna maybe read this stuff first. It's not one, but two readables. My favorite. From Commodore Jameson. Some primary information that the crew should know. The propelizer machine is in the maximum security storage room on the upper floor of Zeta 1. Duke Carl von Braum has the key. If you need anything, please come to me and ask. Godspeed. Whatever. I don't know. The American soldier type people say Godspeed, right? I don't know. 
Matiz, we are preparing this ship for a long trip this time, and to increase the capacity of the Zeta-1, we decided to move first with the Enterprise. The Enterprise. Please take a look at the picture in the hidden place, you know. And it, it is an incredible airship created by the genius mind of Dr. Zepplinger named the Enterprise. The ship that will guide us to victory against any enemies. The crew and I will be there to test the new airship. It should be fast and stable, but the most important thing is that it has good storage space in its cargo hold. Commander Jameson. Oh, from, yeah, okay, well, okay, that's it, so I guess... What? Hello? Oh, you're outside, uh, not inside, so shh, don't... don't know what that is, just one Monty Python sketch from way back in the day, they're just like, no, this is another hanging, so shh, don't... I don't know what that is, but I think it's fun to say. Project Rotor Screw for the Enterprise Super Turbo Motor Engine, Dr. Zepplinger's design. Well, well, it's some type of plan type thing, I guess. It's pretty cool. Uh, I guess there's probably no loot in this introductory mission, I guess? Yeah, there can't be. There's some arrow there. I mean, like, let's try to go down. The arrow tries points down, which probably means I'm supposed to go down, but I figured out that I have to collect all the bones on the level first. No. Where am I... where am I going? It's not even... wait a minute, it's not... It's not even this place, is it? It's, it's around the corner, I think. But anyways, this is some kind of airship, I guess. Yeah, pretty cool looking. I mean, it's it's pretty big. That's pretty impressive, right? It's got some lights. I mean, this is just a really creative idea. Sterlino, dude made this. Very, very creative. Fifi mission maker guy. Absolutely crazy ideas all the time. What? Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. You're under arrest! Well, that didn't go so well. <laughs> Not at all. Not... Okay, well, failed that one. Okay, well, none out of none loot. <coughs> Pardon me. Escape from jail. You are in jail at 6 period o'clock a.m. Oh, those different countries' way of saying time. Some guards are sleeping. Time to escape. Remember, you have only a... F a few hours to complete your mission. Space exclamation mark. Ah. <laughs> Look at that guy just sleeping in his chair all tilted back. Well, it looks like he's got his keys by him. So, I have to break out of jail and I've got my compass and nothing else. I like how he at least gives you your compass. Some fan mission authors take your compass away either permanently, which I can't stand because it's a useful tool for, like, when you're, like, picking something, you've got your lockpick, so when you take some item out of a chest, you want to immediately get your compass back so that you don't right-click and, and use the wrong thing or whatever. And if there's no compass, you can't quickly get it back, and you have to scroll through your inventory manually. I don't know why more people don't realize that, but anyway. And other people take it away as part of, uh, an equipment takeaway and then give it back with your equipment, which makes no sense, because to me, judging by the design of the compass, it's obviously not an item, it's a tool from the game to the player. It's nothing to do with the character. I mean, look at it, it's just like a symbol. It's not an item, you shouldn't take it away, it should just always be there from the programming to the player. But anyways, that's my waste of time sort of thing now. No, is that not quite it? I, uh, hang on. I have to feed this cheese to this rat. Oh, do I, uh... Is that what I do? Ah, yes. Very neat way of getting out of jail, you know? It's not just like the standard sort of... Oh, hey, he sort of teleported, but... Hey, thanks, rat. Oh, you're so cute! Oh, you're so cute and filled with diseases! Oh, I've got leprosy now! Ah, oh, so cute! Leprosy. I don't know why I said leprosy. I don't think you'd get leprosy from a rat, but, well, who knows? I don't know. I have never gotten a disease from a rat before, so it's a pretty new experience. Anyway, this is closed. Okay, well, here's my blackjack, in case I want to use that for some reason. I mean, I think that I really just have to reach through... I don't actually think I can... Well, I don't think I can get in here. I'm not too sure. 
Weapon Storage Service. All the taffing tools are stored in here, as are the main group of proof objects. Benny works here, so don't break any laws. Sign the new sheriff. <laughs> know what Benny has to do with intimidating anybody. Nobody throws me my own sword and says run. Oh, I'm not gonna wake that guy up. He's just, just too inconvenient to do that. What, 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 what? Oh, man. Well, now I have to redo this fantastical part of grabbing my equipment. I think I should be able to get in there because there's those mines I can't reach from here. But, I don't know. It's sort of weird and odd. Well, that's that. It's weird and odd and kind of strange. I don't think he's got a purse on him or anything. Uh, hey, you. Get out of here. <laughs> Letting out the prisoners to cause some havoc. Wait. He ran and then he just comes back in. Well, hey, if you decided it's better in jail, well, don't let me Someone stop. Say something. Whoa, 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 oh, him. Well, that's okay, I'm never coming back this way anyway. <laughs> uh, call right here, this is kind of... Sure, there was a switch. Ah, oh, well, here it is. Oh, that's just for this room, isn't it? Yeah. Nothing, I guess. Oh. Nothing, I guess. Oh well. So, if I'm recalling, I normally just KO'd this guy somehow, but I mean, you could just walk around him. He does turn, eventually. You know. Sort of like, uh. Yeah, never mind. I mean, I mean, seriously, man. I'm sure he, I'm sure of it. It's one of those guys where he just stands around like an absolute frigging moronic asshole for like an hour straight, and then as soon as you. Like, as soon as you try to run in past him, then he turns or something like. Someone there? What's that? What the? No, oh, no, man. It's pretty stupid and annoying. I don't have any water arrows, so it's kind of like. I oh, don't know, man. But I wouldn't get any waters there anyway. Something moved there. But I'm sure I did. I'm sure I put that that out at, at some point before when I played this. I don't know. Is someone there? I, I'm not too sure what what to do about this guy. Come I'm not just now. rampantly knock everybody I'm out, but this guy's kidding. being an incredible irritant. I mean, oh, well, it's pretty stupid. And also, I think I think this is one of those cool missions where they. They actually pick up their sword and then put it back when they're fighting and when they're not. That's, that's pretty cool. And uh, I'm actually kind of spending a whole lot of time and it's now like 13 minutes. So I guess next time I'm going to just carry on with this mission and see where it takes me. So uh, see you guys tomorrow.